Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Cortman, and now for the Mental Health Minute. Many years ago, when I had no kids, no money, and no sense, I thought I wanted to make a difference. And I was persuaded to sign up for the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. They matched me with this 12-year-old guy, Fred, and they did so because I have a real keen interest in sports, and they said Fred was a little athlete too. They didn't tell me that all the sports that I loved he had no interest in, and vice versa. But we were paired. And Fred was challenging, and I was immature, and sometimes our visits didn't go very well. But you know, I hung in there, and I recall the great Woody Allen saying that 88% of life is just showing up. Fred's mother said, please don't leave him. Just stay with him through his high school years. And so once a week, I would find time for Fred and Fred would find time for me. And gradually we started to grow on each other. And before he graduated, I won Big Brother of the Year and he was the Little Brother of the Year. And then we went on a graduation from high school cruise together, which was really a lot of fun. And before long, Fred was my best man when I got married, and I was his best man when he got married. And both of our marriages failed, and we blamed each other. But here's the thing. Fred and I stuck with each other, and we went from matched brothers to brothers. And here we are now, some 37 years later, and Fred's 49 today, and he's my brother, and I love him, and he loves me, and I want to tell the world, sometimes you just have to stay with something. Sometimes you have to keep trying. You have to keep going back to rehab. You have to keep trying to quit smoking. You have to work harder in your relationship. You have to do more forgiving. You have to keep showing up. Happy birthday, Fred. I love you, brother.